good morning and welcome to today's upload. My name's Emma. Make sure you subscribe every Wednesday I upload at 7 o'clock in the morning, kind of vlogs and chats. And on Sundays I do lots of hauls and organisation and I am back with a Q&A. I went to Instagram, if you don't follow me, go and follow me over there. I hit 100k over Christmas which was just like mind blown so if you haven't followed me make sure you go and follow over there i do loads of stories and all sorts of fun posts and things so make sure you check that out so i took to insta stories and i said right ask me some questions i want to do a q a all about the book so if you are new to the channel or if you missed it, the announcement i have got a book out i will put the cover here we did a cover reveal on instagram the other day and the cover is just delightful i haven't got a hard copy in my hand but to make the cover it was a really fun process we actually had other covers and then they were like discounted and they originally drew like a cartoon woman and i was like oh i'm not sure like that or could you put her in a striped top and um, the little girl character Erin was like oh I don't really want her to wear a dress, could she be in um, trousers? So it was really, really fun. In fact, it was one of the the really enjoyable processes about writing a book. Uh, there was a Pinterest board and it was like, I don't like that blue and I don't like that green. So I really hope you like it. It is available to pre-order on Amazon if you want to have a closer look and I will link below and you'll be able to see the cover in a bit more detail. I'm also going to record the audiobook tomorrow. So there is going to be an audiobook as well if audiobooks are your thing. And it is my voice, my brummy, brummy, a brummy accent will be out there for you to enjoy my poems. So I've kind of picked 15 questions. Uh of the most kind of we went through them and what was the most asked over and over again so i'm gonna run through these and give you as much information as possible some will be about my book some will be about the process of writing a book and some will just be about books because we all love books okay so number one the kind of most asked question was is the book just for people with children i am going to say no however a lot of it is about motherhood. It might be a really good present to buy your mom or your sister or somebody you know who's got children and then you can have a little sneak peek. But there are also poems about PMS, there are poems about trips to Ikea, there are poems about body confidence, hairy legs, three for twos, all sorts of stuff. So it does touch on relationships, friendships and the body as well. But I would say on the whole, it's, it's quite parental based. So maybe buy it for somebody else and have a little sneaky peek. <laughs> Go, oh, happy Mother's Day. Um, like buy it a week early and then like have a little read and a happy Mother's Day. And they'll be like, it's a bit dog-eared. And you'll be like, oh, must have dropped a tea in a puddle on the way home from the shops. Number two, does the book have cute illustrations in it? Hell to the yeah. The illustrations are very different from the illustrations on the cover of the book. I'm actually looking, because I've framed an illustration over there. The illustrations contain a man and a woman. The man has a beard. The woman is slightly chubby with shoulder length hair. And then there's a little girl and a little boy. So it's kind of, it's based on this, but it's to represent all sorts of, of parents. The mum has a striped top. And there's some cartoons that they have done to accompany poems that one made me howl with laughter and two made me a little bit weepy. And when I show my friends, they're like, oh my God, you're going to have to get some frames. So I have got, I, I've already printed one off and I framed it up there because it just is so beautiful. So yeah, it does have really cute illustrations in it. And I think, I think you'll find them, them quite funny, that they're, they're, they're good. Okay, where did the idea book from the where did the idea for the book come from? What was your inspiration? Um, somebody who's written a book who can't actually speak. So back in two thousand back in two thousand and eighteen, I had two publishers approach me um, about writing a book. I had this kind of like whole book idea written out that might happen in some point, but it was more like a novel. And the other book idea that they came to me with just wasn't. It just wasn't right for me and it was really hard to sit in a meeting with somebody who'd come up from London and, and them saying, we'd really like you to write this book and me going, do you know what, that's just not me. And they were like, carry on drinking our drink, like, oh, this is a bit awkward. But fortunately, Emily came back again and said, look, I love your Instagram. I love your blog posts. The way you write your Instagram is kind of like modern day poetry. 
I might change my bio to say modern day Instagram poet. So she was like, how would you like to have a go at writing some poetry? Now I've already written some poems over on the blog back in the day. Like I've got like a thousand blog posts out there. So I had already done some poems and I was like, okay, so what kind of poems do you want? And she was like, we want all sorts of poems. So we want rhyming poems, non-rhyming poems, haikus, um, limericks and all different types of poems. Do you think you could have a go at writing it? And I was like, let me have a little go. And that's what I did. I had some poetry books for research. So I read loads of different types of poems and the kind of funny ones for me definitely flowed really easily. And then there's some ones that I've written that are quite personal that I'm a bit worried when I do the audiobook tomorrow because I think I might cry when I read them. So yeah, they came to me with the idea for the book but um, and I kind of rose to the challenge. And that also ties in with the why did you choose a poetry book to write. Poetry book also, there, there isn't anything out there for mums like that. And if you're a mum and you're quickly sat on the loo or you're breastfeeding a baby or bottle feeding a baby or you're you're at soft play and you've got five minutes so you can just read while your toddler's running around. Poetry is just really easy, bite-sized chunks that you can read and digest really, really easily. It's the kind of book you can get by the toilet. It's the kind of book you might shove in the bag when you were, you know, on the train or on the bus. So yeah, poetry. They came to me. Excellent. Am I doing a book tour? There are definitely going to be some events. There is going to be a large event in Birmingham, so make sure you keep your eyes peeled for that. It will be on Instagram. If you're subscribed to my newsletter, I'll probably put it on there as well. And also, if I do a weekly vlog around the time of it being announced, I'll announce it on here. And I think there are other couple of things in the pipelines as well, so I'll make sure I keep you posted because I'd love to meet some of you. It would be marvellous. Number six, how did you go about getting the book published? What was the process of finding a publisher? So as I mentioned before, in 2018, we kind of put some feelers out to different book people. It didn't really work, but Emily came back again from Little Brown Books and she was like, right, this is what you'd like to write. I know I'm very lucky and I know that most people who write books go out to find people. But I think because I had my blog and 5,000 words you know, 5,000 Instagrams, she'd seen quite a lot of my writing. So she actually posted me, which is very, 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 whoo, very lucky. Number seven, what was the process in writing the book from start to finish? So I did my research, I've got my books there. So I read through loads of different types of poetry. I read funny poem books, I read children's poem books, and I went through and I kind of put post-it notes on the styles I really, really liked and things that I read that I enjoy because there's some poems, I'm not gonna lie, there's some poems that I read and I don't understand, or there's some poems I read and I don't really get the vibe of it and it seems a bit too intense. So I kind of picked the styles I really, really liked and then I went onto my blog and I went through the blog post. They wanted the poems to kind of start from babies ending up to now with body confidence and all of the sorts of things thrown in. So I actually went through my blogs and I was like, right, what are things I think I can write about? And then I make made a list, a level lift, and I put them into kind of columns. So in the baby years, I think I can write about X, Y, and Z, uh, toddlers, X, Y, and Z. And I started to write poems based on those little milestones. And then ever so often I'd be out with the kids and I'd have an idea and I'd do it on my notes on my phone. Or I'd be lying in bed at night and I'd sit up and I'd have an idea and I'd be like, right, title. And I found it a really enjoyable process. I also had on my computer at all times a thesaurus up. And also there's like a website called Rhyming Zone. Because sometimes you come up with a word and you're like, there's nothing rhymes with that. And then you type it and you're like, Yes, I've got one. So it was a lot of writing in my bed, a lot of writing on my couch, and a lot of late nights, early mornings, and just whenever the creativity um, strikes. It, I really, really, really enjoyed it, actually. It, it was really good. Number eight, is the book split up into themes and characters, or is it one big collection? It's not characters. I will say it is themes. It does start from... So we've probably got babies, um, toddlers, 
we've got sort of older children, we've got relationships, we've got body confidence, we've got um, like there's a section on the seasons, I've done a poem for each season and a haiku for each season and it is separated so it does flow really nicely, it's not like you're reading a poem about me having hairy legs and then the next you're reading a poem about guilt it, it's it it does flow um and and whilst it is kind of based on my experiences obviously the way i feel about some things now is not the way about i feel about things oh, how do i describe it so i'm writing about a mum who's had a new baby and that's how i felt then and i don't really feel about that that like that now and it was really weird to revisit those times back in my life and think about how hard I found it or how lonely I was um it was and it was nice to know now like nine years into being a mum that now I feel so different and parenting is so different so yeah it's very interesting little journey number nine any advice on how to begin writing a book I haven't really got much advice on how to begin writing a book but I would say as somebody who started a blog, who had no real prior experience in writing, I would just say, do it. I would just say, get on with it. Sit down, write. I found starting a blog obviously has helped me to get a book. So maybe starting to write the odd thing here and there and getting it published and pressing that publish button and saying to your mom, mom, I've written something, could you have a little look? Or to your friends, I've, had, I've written something, could you go and have a little look? So I would definitely think it's something that you just have to feel the fear and do it anyway. I didn't make that catchphrase. I don't know who did, let me know in the comments because it is phenomenal. Right, what book do you most often recommend to others? So I love, 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 Marion Keys. I love all of the Marion Keys book. I suggest anybody out there who has not read Marion Keys books to go and get them all and read them all. They are brilliant books. Especially I would say if you're in your 20s, which is probably when I started to read them, I absolutely adore Marion Keys books. I also really like autobiographies or biographies. I find them really fascinating. I've just finished Louis Theroux's um, autobiography, which I really enjoyed. However, somebody did say to me it is better on Audible. So it's better as an audio book, but, but I don't know. So I always recommend Marion Keys books. Children's books wise, like the Julia Donaldson books are really, really good. The Tom Fletcher books are really good. Erin is seriously into Die of a Wimpy Kid, David Williams books, series, series of unfortunate events. Like she is a book monster. She's currently reading Wonder. Have you ever seen the film? Oh my gosh, so sad. She inhales books. She loves going on holiday because when we get to the plane station, the plane station! Somebody put that in a book, the plane station, also known as the airport. When she gets to the airport, she always gets like a tenner from her nan. So she's like, I'm going to go and buy myself a little cheeky book. So she loves it. But yeah, Marion Keys for me. Love autobiographies, love biographies. I also really enjoyed recently um, The Tattooist of Auschwitz and I've got Silka's Journey to read. So yeah, which obviously are a little bit dark. In fact, Marion Keys books can be quite dark, but they are brilliant. And, I, and, and you can't beat good old Dan Brown. I remember when I got The Da Vinci Code, this is before I had children, I stayed up through the night and read the whole book because like, I have to know what happens at the end of it. Okay, next question. Some of my favourite poets. Okay, so number 11, some of my favourite poets. I haven't really got specifically any of my favourite poets, but I will say when I was doing research, I kind of like stuff that was like Spike Milligan, like the funny kind of poems. As I said before, like a poem that would be like, still, water, love, hurts, look up, pain. That's not my kind of poem. I like a poem that's like, there was a young man from crew who did a huge massive poo and I'm like, ah! So those, those kind of poems. But the books that I did my lots of my research in um, were these. You just had a shot of my huge, massive 
bum in this jumpsuit. So these books are really good. Read Me and Laugh, a funny poem for every day of the year, chosen by Gabby Morgan, as you can see. That was really great. And also a poem for every day of the year. And this is really, really good as well. And this, actually, Erin would love this. It was really, really funny. So those, those are two great poetry books. But yeah, no, no one specific. What is your favourite book? Well, as I just touched on, I really like Marion Key's book. I'm going to say my favourite book that I really enjoyed. Um, I'm trying to think back of the books I used to read when I was younger. But I'm going to go with... I just love the Da Vinci Code. I don't know if that's a cool answer, actually. I should try and come up with something. What is it on... Um, is it in Bridget Jones, Kafka's motorbike or whatever it is? Uh, but yeah, okay. Would you write a poetry book about Gary and Louis? So Gary Barlow and Louis Theroux. I'm not giving any spoilers away, but Gary Barlow might already have a poem written about him. Keep your eyes peeled for that one. Actually, what I'll do is I have already published a poem on Instagram um, and I will leave that poem below so you can read a poem that is going to be in the book that's already out there so you can get a kind of a feel for the longer poems that I've written. So there's some really, really short ones, medium ones, and this is like a longer one. So that will give you, I'll leave that below so you can have a little sneak peek. If I could be a character from any book, who would I be? Bridget Jones. How could I forget? Bridget Jones. Bridget Jones in the bunny outfit. That's who I would like to be. And I like to think I am slightly like Bridget Jones. A little bit clumsy, puts a foot in her mouth, but likes to wear huge, massive pants. However, I watched Bridget Jones the other day, like during my Christmas binging of just nice films. And at the time it was like, gosh, Renny Zellweger, you know, she put on loads of weight. And then you watch it and you're like, she's really slim. She's 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 actually really slim. She is not a big person at all. And at the time we were like, God, oh my gosh, she looks phenomenal. I also watched Love Actually and Martine McCutcheon's character in it. Several times they call her the chubby girl, the one with the fat knees. And you're like, but she's gorgeous. So those those films in the the noughts, the noughties. What was my fa and finally, what was my favourite book as a kid? Hmm. What was my favourite? Oh, I loved as a, not as a little kid, but kind of as like a tweeny, teeny. I loved Judy Bloom books. I love Paula Danziger books. So there was books where, um, there's a bat and bunk five. So it's like, she goes to a, a summer camp in Greenwich, New York and meets a boy or like the Judy Bloom books were, are you there? God, it's me, Margaret. So talking about her starting her periods forever which went around when I was in the end of junior school. Let me know if you remember that chestnut's quite a rude book. So yeah, I really, really, really loved those books. I love books um, with, that I can really relate to. So obviously I can't relate to The Da Vinci Code. Actually, do you know what though? I probably did enjoy it because I was training to be an RE teacher. So at the time probably did reflect something I was going through but I enjoy those kind of books and you can't beat a book entitled something like The Hot Chocolate Shop Near the Beach or The Little Cake Shop in the Snowy Village with a cheesy cover, maybe have bunting, might have like a, a, a little mug on, anything like that that you can just read round the pool and then instantly forget about Love them. I love them. Oh, also, I used to love um, Confessions of a Shopaholic as well. All highbrow books. <laughs> all, all, all the highbrow ones. So there you go. That's kind of like a little booky Q&A for your book fans. I'd love you to leave in the comments your favourite book. Maybe introduce me to some poets that you really, really like. As I said, I will link below a pre-order for my book. It's also available on Kindle. It will be available on audiobook when I do that tomorrow. Maybe pop them to my Insta stories and I will I have a highlight saying my book so you could go and have a little look at me recording my audiobook. I will leave one of my poems below. It is an exciting time. It will make a perfect Mother's Day present. Um, I know I think a few of you are like, eh? It's 
a strange book, but it, it kind of encompasses all the things that I like in small, easy, digestible, bike-sized chunks. Right, I'm off to go and edit this video. I love you lots. Give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. High five if you subscribe. Let me know if you've pre-ordered so I can say thanks. And I'll see you for another upload soon. Bye, guys.